This is a lead code challenge, the first one on my channel, and it's called middle of the linked list. Here we're going to receive a non-empty singly linked list, and we need to return the middle node of that list. So if there are two middles, we need to return the second middle. They give us this example here. Let's say this is our list. We have node one, two, three, four, and five. The middle node here would be node three. But if we receive a list like this one here, they have this sequence from one to six. The middle nodes here would be three and four, but we need to return the second middle. So the second middle node here would be node four. The approach I'm going to use is similar to the one that I used in my hacker rank challenge for cycle detection. So I'm going to have two pointers. One of them is going to move twice as fast as the other one. And the fast pointer is going to advance two nodes at a time. So let's say this is our linked list. We have node one, node two, node three, and node three points to null because it's the last node. Then when we call node one dot next dot next, we're going to get node three. So that is how we can jump from one node to the node right after the next one. So we jump two nodes at every iteration. But we need to be careful when we advance with our fast pointer because we can't call that next on a null pointer. So for example, we are here, node one, and we skip to node three. If we call that next, we're going to be null. When we are null, we can't call that next here. So we need to make sure in our iteration that first of all, we are at a valid node. And that secondly, our current node has a next valid pointer, meaning that it's also connected to another node, like node four, for example. This here is my solution. When you begin this challenge, you're going to have this template here for the nodes as a comment, but you need to write your code between the curly braces for this function. So I have my two node pointers, normal and fast. Both of them are pointing to the head of the lists and the head of the list is what I receive here as a parameter. And here I'm having my while loop. This is the condition I just explained. And my fast pointer is moving two nodes at a time. And my normal pointer is moving one node at a time. Once this while loop terminates, because this condition evaluates to false, meaning we can't advance our fast pointer any longer, then I can return my normal pointer. Because at that point, my normal pointer is going to point to the middle nodes in my list. Here I have an example. Let's say we have this list from one to 10. Null here indicates the end of the list because node 10 would be pointing to null. That at every iteration, normal is going to move one node at a time, but fast is going to move two nodes at a time. Notice here we have six iterations and also six iterations. But when fast becomes invalid, then the last node here for the normal pointer is going to be node six. And node six here is the second middle node inside this list. If you guys have any question about my logic, feel free to ask me in the comment section. But for now, I'm just going to run this code here. So we've passed this test case here, which is the one I just explained. And this is actually a custom sample input. Now let me submit this code and we should be able to pass all the test cases. So we just did. Our code was quite efficient in terms of runtime speed and also memory usage. So I guess that's it for this lead code challenge. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.